This is about supplemental spousal liability bill Governor Hochul signs, and this union seems to support it. But do they even realize that even if you don't have a spouse, they, the insurance company will still give you this coverage, which is impossible to use, and New York State is a no-fault state, so medical bills are already paid. This seems to be completely related to lawyers, and I don't. it's not clear to me why unions are for it, but maybe that's another reason why lawyers and unions are connected, or maybe this particular union, let's not, public service union, oh my goodness. Now, why don't they mention that it is applied even when you don't have a spouse? And let's look at this page. It's even more complicated than we think because something about health insurance can, according to the ACA, can actually deny the spouse coverage. It's legal. This is a somewhat related topic, but let's go to the New York Times, behind their paywall, of course, and look at this quote here. Policy should, policy owners should check the details of their auto insurance, which will automatically enroll them in an extra spousal coverage, even if they're single. This is the most clear I've seen in and uh, thank you, New York Times, for, for sometimes getting it right. Now, I don't want to see the full article, which it seems as if they're letting me see it. That's interesting, maybe because it's new news or searched it through Google. But let's look at the comments, which, again, New York Times is right at the edge of the paywall. Yeah, they want to have it both ways. Look at this. New York Trial Association would spend $1.3 million lobbying. What does this have to do with reality? Oh my God. And do they have the comments? Oh, a declination form. Yes, the default really matters here. This is outrageous. Can we get rid of this silly thing? Ah, read comments. I have to say that some of these New York Times readers actually make sense, right? As a general rule, if a law is supported by personal injury lawyers, it is probably a bad idea. And yes, you know what they say. Oh, please, uh, uh, don't deny the coverage because uh, it's needed. Well, if I don't have a spouse... And I thought it had something to do with spouse driving, but if your spouse doesn't have a driver's license, they don't drive unless they're driving illegally. And on top of it, it has more, and, and that's actually a confusion, uh, but actually what it has to do with pain, I think is pain and suffering. So if your spouse, and, and then this even gets me confused, if someone dies, you can sue your own insurance company for the pain and suffering of the person that didn't die, I think. Right? If you eliminate... Look at this one. There are very few accidents where this will ever benefit. If you eliminate all single people, then take into account a recent study that people travel with a 1.5% occupancy which is true. Most people travel by themselves. If you look at America, that's the way Americans operate. Everybody's got their own car. It's like a horse. And it, how surprising is it that the trial lawyers would sponsor a bill that gives them much better chance of recovering a judgment as well, of course, their reasonable fees. I think they're being facetious here. The insurance... Insurers require proof of spouse, proof the spouse was at fault, which most people cannot do without a lawyer. This is amazing. And 
the insurance companies don't mind because they get paid more for coverage that can't be used. Everyone wins except for the consumer. Really sad. And then I had a similar experience. Geico sends an email. No one's even talking about this. You would think that news and and uh, I had to chat and then they didn't remove it from the bill. I signed whatever it is they needed to sign. And then finally, you have to really be careful on your bill because you have to go to the declarations page and then search because there's hundreds of declarations and search for this spousal word or maybe they encode that too. But you know if your bill goes up, right? I hope people know that. I hope they keep track of that. And if it goes up by $50, $100, it's probably this thing. So definitely um, remove it, if you, especially if you don't have a spouse. That should be illegal. It should be illegal for a state to mandate people pay for a coverage that is impossible for them to use. And then the other question is, it doesn't seem to apply to children or guests in the car. So I guess a child's pain and suffering or a friend's pain and suffering doesn't matter? Only the spouse? Why? Why have a special thing just for spouse? Why not anyone in the car who's got pain and suffering? Insurance companies are banks and they uh, have everything planned just like a casino so that they always win. The house always wins. And it's bizarre that we have such strange systems in a liberal democracy. We should ha have laws that protect the majority, right? The people are the majority in this case, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sure the majority of people are not insurance company owners. <laughs> I'm sure of that. All right. Thank you. Peace out.